what is it like to to play the flute and experience weightlessness? Is it is it easier? Is it harder? You know, it's just actually really a different. Um, I've actually been having the most, really the nicest time up in our cupola. It's a, it's a module that has windows all the way around. And, uh, you know, I end up, I just basically float around in there and, and a lot of times play with my eyes closed. And what's really funny to me is that I'll, I'll suddenly sort of run into something and, and something you just had no idea was so close is, is right there at your nose, which, uh, you know, if you're walking around in your living room, it just doesn't happen that way. So it's it's been pretty neat to just float around and not know quite where you are, but uh, still be creating your own little world with music that sounds great what are the what are the acoustics like up there That really depends on the module, and um, I have to say I've been playing a lot more now that I've found the cupola, which w the, the nicest part about it, besides the view, at least for me, is that uh, nobody can hear me uh, play in there if they're in some other part of the station. Um, in other parts where we have a lot of cloth, a lot of sort of cloth bags, it absorbs the sound and it's not quite as, as bright sounding. But I've been uh, trying to play module by module and they all sound pretty good. You know, I'm thinking, Colonel Coleman, that it would be a pretty amazing thing for you to have some sort of space ground concert. You know, you playing up there on the space station along with Patty Maloney and Ian Anderson and Maddie Malloy, Matt Malloy. We are trying to work some of those things out, and uh, and hopefully we will manage to make them happen. The time delay, there's a technical difficulty in that, I'll tell you the way I usually play is I play with people. I play with a group, and I'm somebody who sort of listens and then does the noodling in the background, and so I like to follow. And so it's a little bit hard for us to all play something at the same time. We're trying to work that part out, but it might be that they uh, send me something to play, and then I send it back down there on, on film, or we're, we're trying to work out the details, but in any case, I think with their instruments up here, um, I think I have a lot of flute players up here with me. Well, I know, uh, Katie Coleman, you have your, your flute. I'm not sure which flute you have there with you, but you have a flute with you. Why don't you tell us which one it is, and I wonder if you would play us out with a song. Well, I'm uh, from Massachusetts, and I brought my own flute, which was made by a really neat company in Massachusetts. And the song I was going to play is called Blue Nose. It's by a Canadian guy named Stan Rogers, who writes uh, a lot of the things that I, I love to play. And it's about, uh, you know, an old sailing ship sailing the oceans, being away from home. And, and that's the kind of perspective you can't help but have when you're up here looking down at the earth and you think about the early explorers. And here we are, more more recent explorers, but we all have some things in common. and and there are jobs that we have to do far from home. So uh, this is for John McBride, who in our uh, International Space Station branch in the astronaut office is the cornerstone of our branch, and it's his favorite song. Great. Katie Goldman, a little uh, a little flute music from space. Thank you so much. Wondering if you could talk a little bit about your flute playing. Um, is that something you do in your downtime? And I don't know if you would do a repeat performance for us as you did for NPR. <laughs> You know, I um, I love to play mostly with people. That's the biggest difference. Uh, down on the earth, I almost always play with with friends and groups, and and uh, you know they they they're playing something and I play something in the in the background, and it's um, something I do in my spare time. I probably won't change day jobs uh, too soon, and uh, so doing it up here alone is a little bit different. But what I've done is brought actually their music with me, and so I play their music in the background and play along, and just uh, I, I think up here in such a it's a big place, and yet there's six of us that are here all the time, and one of the ways that you get along is just to be able to create your own world and, uh, and have a place that you can go to, and for me, that's by playing music, and so it's been really nice to play up here. Would you also be able to play us out? I don't know if that's a convenient or not. Sure. Thank you to you all. I appreciate it. Oh, it's their, it's their pleasure. 
Appreciate your time. Yes, applause from here too. Here too. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for uh, joining us today.